Hey guys, it's JW, and um, I'm just watching a video uh, by Dr. Sunil Dehand, and he explains why doctors today are absolutely terrified. Pretty interesting video. Uh, Dr. Sunil explains why doctors are afraid to speak out against the status quo in healthcare, citing their massive debt, lack of critical thinking skills, and pressure from professional agencies with conflicts of interest. Let's listen in for a few Hello seconds. everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. Why is your doctor so fearful? Why do so many doctors out there seem absolutely terrified <laughs> of speaking up and stepping out of line? And, and he goes on to say um, some of the key takeaways are, and then I'll get back to the video again, but some of the key takeaways are doctors are often burdened by uh, significant debt from medical school, making them hesitant to risk their financial security by speaking out. Medical education prioritizes memorization over critical thinking. So limiting doctors' ability to question or challenge established practices. Professional medical agencies, often driven by profit and conflicts of interest, exert considerable influence on doctors' discouraging dissent. Dr. DeHand urges viewers to be brave and speak out against systematic issues in healthcare as an action allows harmful practices to persist. He criticizes medical boards for prioritizing mainstream control over improving healthcare quality and access. This is a topic and a thought that is on the lips of millions of people out there. So many people suspected that something was wrong way before 2020 with the way healthcare was going, with the medical care that was being received, with interactions with healthcare professionals. But since 2020, my goodness, millions of people out there, including myself, have been completely woken up to... The video, go, the video goes on to discuss the conflicts of interest within the professional medical agencies, but it doesn't really offer specific solutions to address them. Dr. Dan DeHand criticizes these agencies, citing their financial ties to big business and pharmaceutical companies, and suggests that their loyalty is more likely to be with those who pay them the most, rather than the doctors they are supposed to represent. He also expresses his belief that these agencies do a lot of damage to the good practice of medicine. However, he doesn't provide any concrete suggestions on how to resolve these issues. Based on the information in the video, it seems that Dr. Hand believes the solution lies in changing the power dynamics within the medical system. To learn more about potential solutions to address conflicts of interest within professional medical agencies, you could explore additional resources like research articles, healthcare policy discussions, or other relevant videos on this topic. So anyway, thanks for joining me. And if you do want to watch uh, this particular video, it's titled Why Your Doctor is Absolutely Terrified. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. Talk to you later.